guys and welcome to the first episode of a game I'm very very excited to start and that is Destiny. So I literally just loaded up the game, set up everything and yeah I'm really excited to get into this. It's like World of Warcraft, it's a uh, MMORPG I think. I'll have to check that. But I'm really excited to get into this. I've never played Destiny before with Destiny 2 coming out. I thought it would be a cool game to start and maybe we could pick up with Destiny 2. We'll see what happens. So first we gotta choose our class. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Alright, let's see. Wow, there's a ton of customization for this game. I'll probably edit this up, by the way. Alright, so let's get into Destiny. I'm super, super excited to get into this game. It just seems like so much fun. And we shall see. I've heard great things about it. Bungie. Bungie? Bungie? I don't know. That looks like Mars, almost. Those the first humans on Mars, maybe? Oh yeah, it was right. Oh, I get it. It's like a bunch of different expeditions. Huh. Whoa. Is that a planet or a ship? Okay. Okay, also the beginning. So something hunted them while I expanded. I don't know what that was. It was just giving me a bunch of cards. I'm going to try to talk as little as possible during these um, cutscenes. Old Russia.
Oh, poor little guy didn't even know he was getting hunted. Oh, more cutscenes, okay. Eyes up, Guardian. Okay. We won't survive long out in the open like this. Let's get inside the wall. So the ghost is inside of me now, and now I have to enter inside of there. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fight those things. Enter the wall. Take refugee inside for the ancient wall. Cannot summon, and I can leave the game. Okay. Let's go over here and avoid all these cars. These cars look great, by the way. The graphics look absolutely incredible. Wow, look at the size of this thing. One thing... I didn't bring you back just for you to die. We have to move. Um, Alright, I'm inside the building. One thing I will say gives you a good sense of scale. I mean, while I'm standing here, just in front of my monitor... I really, really feel like I'm actually looking down at a bunch of cars right now. This is pretty impressive. We are going to die so I'm guessing through here. I need you to trust me on this. We'll be safer inside. Okay. I need to find you a weapon before the fallen find us. The fallen. Hmm. Find a weapon. Quiet. They're right above us. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if we can find a weapon. Oh boy, I hear him. I really love the sense of scale in this game. This is the first game for a while I've actually felt that. Hang tight. Fall and thrive in the dark. We won't. We need more light. I'll see what I can do. One of these hardened military Hey, where are you going? Hey, good job. Kinda. I s here, I found a rifle. Grab, it. Grab the rifle. Where is it? Oh, here. And it's. All right, I grabbed it. All right, so we have this. I hope you know how to use that thing. Eh, probably. It's pretty broken, which is unfortunate, but we'll make do with what we have. So I'm guessing we're gonna run through here. We have to go take on the fallen, which will be really cool. Watch for motion on the tracker. Whoa! Oh, cool, we killed him. What a drop. Oh, more ammo. Cool. Okay, so now we can head over back in here. Hold on one second, I gotta pull my. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Look at that. Sorry, I had to readjust my headphone there. Yeah, that's a really cool melee animation. Um, okay. To aim, yeah, I kind of already got that. Crap, I'm gonna need more ammo if I wanna keep surviving this. Shoot him and take out the dreg. Oh, more and more. Damn, there's a lot of them. Keep yep, keeping it up. I'm guessing we're going to be through there. Wow, this game looks great. I can't believe the sense of depth. When you're playing this game, for anyone who's never played it, which I'm guessing most of you have, um, you really can feel just the actual sense of depth. It's like a VR sensation almost. Alright, collect loot. Oh, cool. It gave me a... Um, a gun. The preacher, it's called. Don't touch. Alright, so I'm gonna duck. I'm guessing. 
There we go. I got it. Alright, let's... Oh, not cool. Where'd he go? Hey, get over here. There we go. I got him. That melee animation is just fantastic. It really makes you feel like you're a warlock. Hey, what you doing? They keep tripping up the trip mines. It's pretty funny. I was wondering if they set them or if they were preset because it said it was their territory, which is kind of interesting. I'm so curious as to who they actually are and whatever. It's pretty, pretty cool though. All right, let's see. We're gonna come around here and shoot, shoot, boom. Oh, I'm back to full health. I'm guessing that's what that means. Um, pull this gun back up. Oh, hello. Welcome to Wendy's. <laughs> Alright, so we got a vandal. There's so many of them. I can't believe how many of them. Usually in games, only pin you against one or two at a time. and this, they're throwing you right into it. It also feels very smooth shooting, um, just through the reticle that it gives you. It just, it feels very, I don't know how to describe it, it's just smooth. It feels good. Oh, there's ammo. I'm gonna need that. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Okay, he can take a few more hits. There we go. Yeah, I don't like it when they can take the hits. More ammo, the better. Cool. The fallen have a tighter hold on this place than yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit further. It almost looks like a massive, like, submarine kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, it was, because it's all crashed in, and I, I can't believe how great this game looks. The graphics are very visually impressive. Um, it's like a world that you could immerse yourself in, which is good, because in World of Warcraft, you don't always get that. In some of the RPGs, this you don't. There's got to be something you can fly up Incoming. Whoa, what the hell is that? Fallen ships this close to the surface. Move. Where? <laughs> Fight through the fallen. Okay, we'll do that. Oh my god, do I have any grenades? I don't know. That's how I punch, I forgot. Or melee, whatever you call it. Alright, I'm just gonna try and do my best to like run through this thing, because I feel like I can't gunfight out of this one. Alright, we're gonna jump. Boom! Shit. Respawn, yeah. <laughs> Good call. Um, I don't know if I'm just supposed to kill the fallen, or if I'm supposed to, like, somehow make my way over there, or... Oh, I see, so I'm gonna have to head through the building. I wasn't sure last time if it wanted me to just head oh hello don't I come on I wasn't sure if it wanted me to head through the river or not which was kind of stupid thing to ask but uh oh there we go got it all right I think I'm good I think it rewards you a little bit of health after you kill something I'm not positive about that but which is kind of nice because then it when games like that, I like it because if you're facing a lot of enemies like I am right now, it almost is a morale booster. Like, okay, you can make it. <laughs> I'm getting decent XP just for killing mobs. Whoa, look at these little ship things. Hello. Come here. You're dead. Wow, beautiful. Not beautiful. Level 2, you can upgrade one of your abilities. Press option to open your character screen. Options. Um, you really come from subclass. Subclass, press that to upgrade. Alright, so we... Oops. Hey guys, sorry about that. We're back with a little bit of tef technical difficulties. Um, but yeah, I'm going to level up my thing pretty soon. Uh, my abilities. I'm picking up sides of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. Find the ship. Okay. It was. I just want to upgrade it just because it keeps telling me to. Um, oh, so that. And view details. 
and then I can buy this upgrade. So a grenade that creates a vortex which continually damages enemy trapped inside blends to L1. Alright, that's helpful. I actually did need a grenade. Very helpful. I'm um, sorry about the guys who did have technical difficulties as I imagine. So you guys will just see the cut right there. Probably just nothing to you, but it took me a minute. Um, okay, so we jumped through that puddle. Cool. Yeah, this place is all abandoned since it said, like, old Russia. I guess they must have a new one. Alright, ready? Watch. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful grenade right there. Took out the whole room for us. I love the soundtrack, by the way. It's one of those soundtracks that I would actually listen to in my free time. I was trying to throw a grenade there. They seem to be pretty effective, so. Alright, so let us continue on in our trek through this big thing. Whoa! There's a ship. Clear them out. Devil Captain? Oh my god. Alright, here we go. The Vandals have a little more health than the Drex, but that Captain thing, I'm guessing, is going to be like a mini boss. Nice. Is he behind me? Oh, I thought he teleported or something. He has a little bit of a shield going on. I missed. My bad. Oh, he can teleport. Is he? I think he can spawn in mini units like the dregs and stuff too. That's pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Let's use our shotgun on him. There we go, I killed him. Nice. Let's see if he gave us anything. Oh, oh no, not really. Let me see if I can get us out. Cool, so we found the ship. Defeat all the dregs, dregs, whatever you call them, and we got past the captain. Nice. We're lucky the Fallen haven't completely picked a clean. Will it fly? I can make it Interesting. I find that little um, computer, I forget what it's called, that can access all technology. I found that pretty cool. And also that uh, that woman, or who are, was it a woman or was it a guy who was holding the sniper rifle looked like on top of the roof? I wonder who that was. Alright, so um, we got some rewards and we can continue on. Continue. Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. But I'm actually really having fun with this so far. It feels pretty good to um, shoot and stuff and just, you know, whatever. So, yeah, even just shooting the gun um, at the, uh, whatever you call them, Drex, they just, it felt really, really cool. Oh, here we go. Right to the supposed city he was talking about. Good stuff. Sorry to roll my chair over there. I'm 
guessing we're here. Whoa. Teleport out of it. Welcome to the last safe city on Earth. The only place the traveler can still protect it. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. Oh, look at those eyes I made. That looks cool. And this tower is where the Guardians live. So I'm a Guardian. I guess I protect the city. Maybe, probably, hopefully, sorta. Kinda sorta. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kinda cool how he said that, that the traveler protects. Like, it, maybe he means merchants, or maybe there is a traveler. But, I don't know if he's probably gonna send me off on a mission, so I might end it right after my next mission that I get. Just a thought, if he gives me one. If it's more cutscenes, we can watch them, obviously. The cutscenes are really good. I can't believe how many of them there are. It's, um,. We're already playing WoW, there's not as many. Uh, in WAD, they tried to incorporate them. Legion, not as much. Cutscenes. Um, and they really didn't feel as much of the story as they do in this game. It helps you feel like your atmosphere and stuff. It helps you be immersed in the game, which they're really good when once you get a cutscene. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my first episode of the Destiny Let's Play. If you guys want to see this, let me know in the comments down below. I probably will end up doing a couple episodes of this, even if you guys don't enjoy it, just for me. And then afterwards we can just quit it, because this is an MMORPG. Um, you got missions and stuff, and you get rewards from it, and you can level up your character. With that being said, there's a Destiny 2 coming out very soon, as I'm sure many of you know. And I'll probably be playing through that. So guys, that's about all for this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys are excited for episode 2 and what you guys think about other Let's Plays. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.